good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for, for having us today. Um, I'm here with Thians Besta from Supreme Marketing. Um, hey, Thians, um, how are you? How's everything going? Good afternoon, Marcello. Or is it good evening for you there in Australia? Uh, everything is well. Thank you for your time. Thanks. Uh, I would like to just to, um, to thank everyone for, for having us in this afternoon. Um, it's always a pleasure to be here. Uh, the main idea for our webinar today is to be more like a conversation and for us to explain what are the major advantages of using a wireless uh, solution for condition monitoring, such as Dynamox. So, uh, um, guys, uh, um, Marcelo uh, said he will go through a presentation for us with us and uh, Astello is an international uh, support engineer for Dynamox so he's always available and uh, so Marcelo, please go ahead. Thanks Dianz, uh, thanks for the opportunity and for everyone of being here. And uh, um, can you explain to us what does Dynamox do? Sure. Dynamox is a um, Brazilian company, right? So I come originally from Brazil and pretty much all of our team. And but we have a pretty large international base on our um, on our system. So we started everything back in Brazil. We we manufacture uh, and we essentially provide hardware and software solution for condition monitoring, specialized in vibration, voltage and current. And that's what um, we are in the world today. So if I if everyone's seeing the presentation that we brought up brought here for you today, as I mentioned, we are um, a software and hardware company. So the main idea for us, we have currently more than 250,000 sensors installed. We're going to speak about in a second what exactly we do. And we currently have 250 plus employees. This number is ramping up pretty quickly due to the acceptance of our solutions uh, in the market, right? A couple of pictures here from our factory. So we have a world-class production system. Of course, ISO 9001 certified. So quality of our process is, is always something for us. Um, as I mentioned, we have a pretty uh, large team and it's pretty international as well. So we have a lot of um, people that, of course, speak Portuguese, English, Spanish and, and French, and of course, a couple of extra languages as well. So we have offices based in Brazil. So we have three offices in Brazil. We have offices in Portugal, in the US and here in Australia where I'm based. And of course, we have representative and, and um, partners all over the globe, as you can see in this, this small map. Um, in the bottom of the screen, you can see that we have a couple of ISOs uh, certifications, which are very important in this world. The ISO 9001, for instance, is the quality of the processes, such as hardware development and software development. And the ISO 27001, 27018 and 27701, these are all three related to cybersecurity, which of course, nowadays, if you provide a cloud solution, you definitely need to have, is a must have. So you provide security for your customers and partners. Um, a bit about um, our what, what is Dynamox as a, as a company. So Dynamox and Dynamox Engine is, is a merge. Uh, so two companies that merge together to deliver condition monitoring solutions uh, for our customers, right? So Dynamox initially started as a vibration specialist company and Dynamox Engine is a voltage and current uh, specialist company. So now with this, we can ally both solutions to get the best out of the two worlds and provide a complete condition monitoring solution for those types of assets, right? Can you um, explain in a bit more detail what Dynamox do, uh, Marcelo, please? Yeah, sure. Um, so the Dynamox's ecosystem, right? Very, being very brief, we start, of course, with our sensors and gateways. So we provide vibration sensors, gateways to collect the data from the field. Uh, with that, that will go into a cloud solution, which is a web platform. And from there, we have a couple of different options, which is what we go want to discuss here and how these um, solutions can actually help your business in your condition monitoring program. So we have remote prognosis, which is essentially using our analysts, our specialists that have 30 plus years of experience working and mining and condition monitoring to actually give you the reports and diagnosis. We're gonna talk a bit about automated detection, which um, is very popular when you can definitely uh, make your processes more efficient, actually using machine learning and rule-based models. We have, of course, the systems integration, which nowadays big data is always a hot topic. When you have all sources of data, coming into a, into a central place, you can actually take more informative decisions. We're gonna talk about specialist dashboards, which are, we call them smart dashboards. 
and we're going to talk about uh, sensitive inspection as well, which is a root based uh, system that we have as well. If I may dive into uh, a bit more detail in those solutions, uh, we have the um, sensors. So this is the essentially the basics of the solution. Everything starts here, right? And so we have our sensors, which are dynalogous, as we call them. They are triaxial accelerometers, so they will measure vibration. And um, they measure, of course, temperature, contact temperature as well. They are 100% wireless, so they're all using Bluetooth technology and battery driven. They will be talking remotely to an app, which is uh, available in, in the App Store or um, Play Store as well, whatever system you're using. Or you can also use a gateway, which is an automated way of collecting the data. This gateway will be hooked up to a um, power unit. Of course, you can have options such as solar. You can ha have options 110 or 220 AC or even 1224 DC. And these gateways, they will need uh, a connection to the internet. So essentially 4G SIM card, uh, Wi-Fi or Ethernet, what, whatever option you have available and uh, which one you prefer to use in your site. Once the gateway and the app are collecting data from these sensors, they can be, in, they can be sent to the cloud, where that's the web platform that we're going to actually show here in a bit of more detail of how this can help in terms of an, 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 a specialist uh, software to diagnose faults. If I may say just a, a tiny bit of technical specifications, uh, we have three different models of sensors currently uh, available for the, the international market. We have the HF Plus, HF Plus, sorry, which is the blue sensor on your right, which is your high-end spec. So F max or max frequency up to 13 kilohertz. Telemetry, which is which are the readings um, that these sensors perform every one minute, which are overall values. Essentially, from one to 60, you can select uh, your your frequency interval waveform up to 172 seconds. Of course, this is, gives you a pretty large amount of um, quality in terms of data for those low speed applications such as reclaimers, mills and, and specifics. Sampling rate 26.6 .6, and of course 98,000 lines of resolution. So it's a pretty um, good spec of sensor if you, if you compare with what's available currently in the market. And of course you have two other options such as the TCAS and the TCAG. TCAS, 2.5 kilohertz in, in max frequency and waveform up to 78 seconds, right? So that's the main idea. We'll perform, of course, telemetry, overall values, and the spectral analysis. TCAG, on the other hand, will only perform um, the overall trends or telemetry, as we call them. These sensors, the blue one, for instance, can be either stud mount or even glued, and the green and orange sensors, they can, they can be only glued. So as just as an overview on how you should install them, how, should you, use, how to, you should use them to start with with this journey if i may say to you a couple of uh, applications of the dynamox's uh, ecosystem so we have the conventional monitoring which is uh, which is the very basic side of things such as pumps such as motors compressors conveyors screens this is pretty uh, for us as we are a specialist company this is for us is is very basic but we have the unconventional monitoring as well, which can always be a challenge with traditional vibration systems. And that's what Dynamox focus on solving those issues. So unconventional monitoring such as thickeners, such as reclaimers, such as uh, dumping trucks, such as drills, all these sort of equipment that can be very critical for your process and that we can monitor wirelessly. A couple of applications here that you can already see and identify our sensors in a couple of harsh applications. So you can see sensors in, in oil baths, you can see um, sensors in rollers in conveyor belts, you can see sensors in standard applications such as motor pumps. So all sorts of different applications we can install these sensors, mainly because it's wireless of course, the simplicity of installing these sensors is, is a bonus, plus the size as well. They're very small, very tiny, they can fit in, in very uh, small spaces. So in terms of the web platform, we have the asset tree as, as of course, any database. You, you have your alarm prioritization, so you can prioritize your alarms as, as you go. You have your sensitive inspection to perform your routes in your checklists that can assist you while you're doing field inspections. Your waterfalls, your waveforms, your orbitals, predictive reports, all sort of uh, technical features to analyze your data and to find your faults. You can find it in this platform, of course. Um, what the what what can Dynamox bring to the table in relation to the shortage of people, and how to efficiently improve the time spent on analysis? What? That's a very good question, Thiens. And um, as I mentioned, 
the system has all the capabilities that you that you can imagine in terms of features to analyze. But nowadays, the shortage of people and the difficulty to find uh, good quality uh, employees to actually analyze and detect the faults, that's always a challenge. So thinking of that, we have the Dyna Detect, is what we call, which is the automated detection module. With this, this system will help you uh, detecting your faults more easily and will even speed up the process in terms of finding the fault. So as a, as a overall idea, this will use machine learning models and rule-based models to actually um, try and detect the faults on specific assets. So just as an overview, you should register the technical data in the system so the algorithm can start feeding that information, such as varying information, number of, uh, number of veins, number of blades, what's the speed, if it's a hydraulic coupling, elastic coupling, this sort of information, technical information about the asset, so the algorithm can make or can give you an informed decision. Of course, we're going to um, monitor the severity of that fault. So not only telling you that's actually a bearing fault, for example, we're going to actually tell you what's the criticality of that fault, which is always important. We're going to be monitoring over time as we have trends every minute. We can simply monitor that fault over time and then can give you a more informed decision on when to actually stop the machine when necessary. Um, we're going to open a report so we can actually track that information and register into the system get a feedback about the detection. So you as an analyst, as a specialist, you can give a feedback about what the algorithm is giving you in terms of detection. And of course, that feedback will feed back into the algorithm. And in the end of the day, what we're gonna do is we're gonna close the report and improve our reliability overall because we have a cycle that's gonna constantly be uh, upgrading itself with more and more information about your own asset, right? So that's the sort of understanding in terms of how the DynaDetect can help you speed up your processes. And uh, so what you're basically saying is that, th that this technology can detect anything from any asset, any type that's of a, asset. That's a, that's a very interesting question. We, we receive them um, quite a lot. So um, as a specialist company, of course, we will not say to you that we can detect anything for any asset. We'll be lying to you. So for us, uh, we've brought here a couple of sets that we actually are um, specialists on, and we have already the algorithm up and running. So with these assets, we guarantee a proper detection and a detection that will make sense for your overall business. So we have conveyor belts, motor pump sets, motor fan sets, vibrating screens, motor blower sets, clean towers, and of course, electric motors, pumps, gearboxes, fans, and conveyor belts. So these are the assets that currently we are 100% sure that we are specialists on them and we can actually detect. Of course, we're not going to sell any magic here that can detect any sort of fault on any sort of asset because that currently doesn't exist. That's why um, you need more and more specialism, more research on those assets to actually detect them. So that's a very, very interesting question on, on today's market. Dynamox, we provide the solutions on what exactly makes sense. Uh, I brought just a practical case simply um, for you to understand how the Dyna detect and how these detections will work. This is a case of a gearbox. Um, we're essentially monitoring using our software. This is a, a screenshot, a snip, a snip from the from the software. We can see that we got a, an information of um, a gearing uh, failure. So we have uh, one one x uh, gearing failure. So gear mashing. Essentially, I would like to just pinpoint. If you look at uh, at the bottom uh, right of the screen, you have unmonitored failures. So again, as I said, we cannot do any magic with the system. It's purely science, right? So what we're doing is. The algorithm is telling you, I can't detect a bearing wear because you haven't informed to me what bearing model you're using. So that's the sort of information that the algorithm will tell you. It will not inform you anything that's not 100% sure. That's the whole idea in terms of detection. In this case, you can see here that the algorithm actually got it right because we had the right information from the asset. We could, with that, generate a report and make a full cycle, as we said, give a feedback again for the detection saying we got it right, and then the algorithm can learn from that. In terms of the of the DynaNew now, um, DynaNew is uh, is a, a fairly uh, recent product that we uh, launched, and it has having a pretty good acceptance in the market, which is the visual management dashboard. So the main idea here is that we can also, with the vibration data already available in the system, we can build our own dashboards, and we can actually understand what where are our pain points in terms of our site maintenance. So if you see something some specific assets that are constantly giving you problems, you can see in a visual way where are these problems and what are they stopping the plant 
And with that, you can take more informative decisions. You can calculate your overall uh, health indexes. So you can do all sorts of different um, calculations to actually make your life easier when analyzing multiple sources of data. It, uh, um, it almost looks like a, uh, a SCADA system, uh, but not for the process guys, but for the mechanical maintenance teams. Uh, um, please collaborate. Perfect. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Tians. Um, when we were together visiting customers, there was something that popped up quite quite a lot, right? Uh, the, no, normally, the process team, they have all these uh, fancy dashboards with all the information that they need, but the mechanical team and maintenance team, they don't have this sort of visualization. That's why Dynamox came up with Dynaneo, which is something that will help these people, condition monitoring techs, reliability engineers, and all these people that actually need the information, need the data and the visualization of that to actually take the decisions and make the reliability overall be improved. So that's exactly what this is meant to be. It's meant to be something to facilitate the visualization of the information. And that's exactly what the mechanical teams were lacking before. And I can show you here a couple of more interactive um, screens of the Dynaneo, such as the 3D model, of course, so you can connect your assets together so you can make the uh, the flow of your product all the way from the, let's say, on a mining environment from a crusher all the way into the screen and then from, from the stacker and reclaimers and so on. So you can build your own dashboards up to you. It's 100% customizable. We're going to talk a bit more about the, the specialist dashboards now, which are essentially um, when Dynamox comes in place, actually using more uh, data and more informative way of analyzing the data for critical equipment. We have the vibrating screen, for instance, uh, which is, of course, in mining industries and industries in general, it, it is a pain point. Of course, it's an asset which is very critical and it's very susceptible to failures, of course, because the whole structure is already shaking. So we have a couple of information, you know, how we normally monitor these screens. And of course, we can use wireless systems uh, for that. Normally, if you use uh, wired uh, sensors, you can you know have some cables broken, which you know is kind of unfortunate. So, what Dynamox monitors here: cotton shafts, lay shafts, jack shafts, uh, bearings, springs and suspensions, um, structure of the screen, of course, torsion, diagonal twists, and exciters, which are of course your major. Uh, showstopper so how does it work of course again you, you stick these sensors in you can glue it or you can either um, start mounted and then of course you can connect to the cloud getting the information and taking informative decisions you can set up your alarm set points if anything goes above and the behavior of the equipment changes you're going to be notified you can take an informative decision a couple of more information on, on vibrating screens so as we said we are a specialist company in what we do right so we want to bring more value for our customers what we do this is a, a snip uh, a screenshot from our dyna dash which is the dyna screen module in this case we're going to actually analyze orbit uh, in uh, phase we're going to use stroke accelerations and angles and all these sort of comparisons to understand if there's any problem let's say with the feed if there's any material built up in the screen if the screen overall structure is actually healthy if you want to understand any parameters in terms of performance of the screen, you know, well, why is my screen not, not performing as I wish it was? Maybe because your angle is too high, maybe because you have a difference between left and right. That's the sort of information that this dashboard is going to give you. So it has two ways of being analyzed. One is more on the performance side of things for the, for the production and processes. The second one is more on the structure and overall health of the screen. So this is the sort of information that Dynamox can provide. A couple of photos here that you can see the orbits and how we actually analyze, how we extract the data. So you can see a linear motion and, of course, a circular slash elliptical motion orbits. So these are different types of screens. And we can bring you some success cases or some applications that we, we've got with these screens. Of course, monitoring overall, having trend spectrums every day and trends every minute is very handy using these sensors. So you can actually track the fault as you go. So this is a this is a case that, um, the, that we had a spring defect, essentially a broken spring with a damage, as you can see in the in the pictures that we've brought. We caught all of those different figures. This is all more the analysis side of things. And of course, the first screen on uh, the first screenshot up top right is your trends overall. So your behavior for, of your equipment started changing. Alarm was sent by email and then the customer went there and actually found the problem. So that's how powerful the system can be. Same story happens for bearing defects, of course. We're going to look for changes in the behavior of the equipment. If that equipment changes, we're going to be notified and we can actually analyze and investigate and the dashboard will point out for us what is the most likely uh, 
failure mode that's actually happening on that screen. Um, and we have, of course, uh, four conveyor belts as well. That's another uh, type of application that we can um, actually use. In terms of conveyor belts, of course, we have a lot of different components that we can monitor. Hydraulic couplings, uh, electric motors, uh, backstops, gearboxes, uh, rollers. We have pulleys, of course, and uh, all, sort of, all sorts of different scrapers, models, and so on. Even the chutes we can actually monitor. We'll bring a case for you as well. So this is a sort of um, structure of an overall conveyor. It's a pretty critical asset that we can definitely monitor with wireless sensors. Um, uh, if you look at the safety of the conveyor belts, you know, there's lots of uh, um, rolling rotational equipment, long distances. How can the Dynamox solution be applied to, to this critical assets? To, to, to make sure people uh, um, are safe around it. That's a very good uh, question, Tians, because if you look uh, where Dynamox started in the beginning, the main drive for us uh, as, as constructing or building this solution was in terms of safety. We wanted to get uh, people as most away from actually the, the line of fire, let's say, of these machines and, and you know, processes as possible. Of course, we understand the situation that you need to go in the field, and that's always good, but you definitely want to uh, avoid the risk if you can. I've just brought some photos here of how the solution can actually help in terms of safety. As you can see, sensors being used on rollers, which is very, very um, inaccessible normally because you have your conveyor running you have material you have all uh, dropping from pretty much anywhere where it can fall into your head all these moving parts that can snap or the belt can snap and give you some sort of catastrophic failure sensors installed behind guards so that's all all of the information that the sensors can provide while still keeping uh, people personnel which is our, our major asset out of the line of fire of these machines so this is the sort of information as well so besides all of that um, in terms of mechanical parts actually giving you problems, you have contamination levels, right? So there's toxic places that you can, you need to wear masks, you need to wear face shields to go. If any any product falls into your skin, you can ha you can be burned. So all these sort of information, if you have a wireless sensor, which is robust enough to give you the information and actually trend the values to you and you can make informative decisions, you know, from, from your office outside of this line of fire, that's exactly what you want. Besides, on the conveyor belt side of things, of course, um, back in the old days, if you would monitor it with, you know, wired accelerometers or portable accelerometers, you would need to walk long distances around the pulleys to actually, you know, get all the readings. That's a more time efficiency if you look in the big picture while using the, the sensors because the data now comes to you and not you go after the data. If I may say a couple of more unconventional applications on conveyors, right? Because it's not common to to monitor using vibration sensors. And of course, we, as we're specialists, we can definitely use that. So we have chutes, we have scrapers, we have hydraulic couplings, and even backstops. So there's all these um, other applications that are not common when you look at Conmon in a um, conveyor belt perspective. But of course, we can monitor and we give you pretty good insights by using the overall trending over minutes. This is very, very powerful. And here we brought just two um, case studies, right? So we have a case one, which is a motor. Of course, you can see the overall behavior of the equipment on the last screenshot, that I, as I'm showing here. Of course, that um, behavior changed, and then definitely we got alarmed. We need to do something about it. And then when we went and analyzed, you can see the coupling uh, that was damaged. So that's the sort of information. Again, we always repeat this because this is the most powerful um, value that the system will give you. It's trending over time giving all the information, the amount of data that you have to actually understand that the behavior of that equipment changed and now you have a failure and now you have a mode that you need to understand what's happening. You put your people to analyze, you use DynaDetect, for instance, to detect for you, you take an informative decision and then you either stop the machine or you can run it a bit more and get a bit more out of that spare part. In the second case, we have rollers as well, right? Which is not a conventional application. If you look in um, for the majority of the conveyors with this, with the TCAG sensor, which is an orange one, you can measure temperatures, of course, on the rollers and more, even better than that, you can monitor vibration. Um. If I may say here, uh, Tins, just before you, um, if you have a question to me, I'll just show you the, the pulley cases here. Of course, pulleys are the major uh, uh, let's say asset in terms of uh, of the components of that conveyor, right? So pulleys you definitely want to monitor those GTUs that normally are inaccessible, those uh, bend pulleys, those drive, those heads, and even the tail pulleys, of course, are normally are uh, under tunnels. 
these are the sort of machines uh, of, of components of that machine that you definitely want to monitor, right? Using autocorrelation, using your behavior of your equipment and change. So you can actually find the fault and actually diagnose that and give a right call of what's the problem and then how to fix it, how to solve it. Same story will happen to shoots with, uh, with the Dynamox solution, you can actually put sensors, uh, Dynamox sensors, Dynaloggers, outside of, the, of, of your shoots and monitor where lining. You can have, if any plates is detached, you can actually monitor that just using overall trends in terms of vibration. You see the behavior of the equipment changing, as I mentioned, that's the most powerful thing you can have, have in, the, in this system. Um, yeah, back to the rollers, yeah. Uh, um... How does monitoring uh, monitoring the rollers work, and why would you need to measure uh, vibration as well as temperature on the on the rollers? That's very good things because um, normally what what we uh, understand as a conveyor, let's say from 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 a from a common perspective, um, you normally would just simply measure temperature. You know, if the roller gets stuck. Um, the temperature, the, the belt's going to start rubbing on that roller and then you have temperatures increase. But in the end of the day, you know, by using vibration, and that's where a specialist company such as Dynamox comes in place, is where the vibration will start telling you that problem way before. And we showed you here on this success case that we brought that happened in a, in a conveyor, one of our partners in Brazil. And that happened is the vibration started giving signals or indications, changes in, in the behavior again, that um, that roller was there's there was something wrong with that roller you know there's something there you know the roller was was vibrating more than normal but actually two months or three months later on actually the temperature started increasing as a consequence of the vibration so besides the temperature which is of course our last line of defense we want to definitely avoid a catastrophic failure on a fire for instance um, the vibration will definitely give you that early warning way early on in this success case that we're bringing here. And that can be very handy to schedule and to program your shutdowns accordingly, right? So using a, a vibration sensors paired with a temperature sensor, which Dynalogger TCAG in this instance does both, that can definitely help you taking a more informed decision. And of course, having that call way earlier than normal. Just to, to finish up here, so we don't uh, step up too much of our time, we have the electrical bus bars, same story. We have our TCAG that we can install in bus bars. So these sensors there, as I mentioned, very small, very tiny. They can fit into uh, very small um, spaces and you can simply get temperature and vibration transmitted via the cloud on as, as easy as five minutes installation. So this is, is a very simple way of monitoring and you have all the analytics and all the tools to actually take that that decision on a more informed way. So that's how the, vibra uh, the Dynamox solution has been used for bus bus. And again, using pairing that up with the web platform, with the integrations and all of that, that's how the system can work. Uh, that's one success case for you to understand where have, you, uh, have we applied the, um, the TCAG for bus bus monitoring. That's an underground substation um, in Brazil that of course it's a very harsh conditions for the, for the technicians to actually get the, the temperature readings. In this case, you're using more the temperatures in specific. And of course, we know that by the trends, as you can see on the right graph, the trends is we had a change in the behavior of the equipment. Again, same story. We went there, find, found the fault, and actually we, we avoided a total shutdown of the system on an uh, unplanned way. So that's the best thing besides getting that uh, your people outside of the line of fire, which is you know always a good thing to have. Of course, this you would avoid your system, your whole system to just shut down because of your temperature issue. So you got this and you could plan yourself. I believe with that, we cover pretty much um, a very, just scratching the surface of the iceberg of the Dynamox solution and how we can uh, provide um, these sort of um, instrumentation and solutions for uh, condition monitoring space. I hope this was informative enough for you. And of course, just to wrap up the sensors, how the solution would work. The sensors will talk Bluetooth to the app and to the gateway. These two devices will connect to the cloud, to the web platform where you have all the all of your analysis tools with no licensings and no, no user limits. Of course, you have other sensors and other uh, add-ons that you can you can get from the system, such as DynaNeo, DynaSense, DynaDetect, some of the items that we spoke today. And of course, the data integration, once you have data from multiple sources that can make they make your, your decision way more um, assert, assertive, if I may say. So that's essentially how the overall picture of the solution works. 
if you would like to know anything extra more about the solution, we're happy to assist. And that finishes up for our, for our webinar today. But Tians, you asked me um, a lot of questions. We actually have um, we have a question from the from the from the web chat here, which is uh, from from Bruno Portis. Um, how can automated detection improve my vibration analysis routine in terms of priority? That's very good. So by using the Dynamox system, um, the the best way of actually getting the data from these sensors is using alarm set points. So the web platform allows you to to register vibration alarms, so velocity, acceleration, skewness, kurtosis, plus temperature, plus spectral alarms, which are per band alarms. So you can actually divide and prioritize those assets um, and understand which ones you actually need to uh, look out first. Because in the end of the day, finding a fault, this is what the vibration analyst would do. But prioritizing which machines need to have more attention first, that's the real challenge. And that's what I believe uh, your your question was uh, came from, Bruno. So using alarm set points, using data detecting the criticalities that this uh, add-on can give you, that will help you prioritize and understand which machines you should tackle first, because you see, uh, depending on the site, that could you know give you a lot of, of different points, help needing your assistance as a, as a specialist. Hope that answers the question. And um, always, that, that was a very good question, but I have a, an even better question, if I may say. Uh, Tians, you asked me a lot of questions today. Um, if I may say, can you talk us, can you um, speak a bit more about yourself and about your business? How, how did you end it up um, knowing Dynamox and being a service, for, service provider for mining in, in South Africa? Um, Marcelo, yes, thank you for your uh, presentation. It's uh, it's uh, very good um, to know that there's a well-established uh, product that can assist with the condition monitoring of equipment. So uh, I've, I'm, a, I'm qualified electrical and instrumentation, been in the mining industry from 1992. And uh, so Supreme Marketing was established in 1998 already, and I bought it um, as a mining supplies company in 2006. So um, currently, I'm uh, I've decided to to um, focus only on condition monitoring um, services to the to a various range of sectors in South Africa, and not not just South Africa, but also um, north of South Africa's borders. So um, quite a few countries I'm, I'm looking after. So our services include the consulting and the sales and installation, monitoring and reporting um, of, of assets. Um, that services, um, that is what uh, my company provides. And um, of course, yeah, I'm proud to be part of the Dynamox team um, for Africa. Thanks, uh, thanks, Tians, for that. Again, I believe our partnership for for the African continent in terms of al aligning your experience, your field experience, you know, that that you acquired over the years, uh, plus with our you know specialists in our rocket scientists, um, that's a very good pair, I would say. So we can actually provide value for for our end customer. So um, that's that's uh, that's a very good um, very good to have you on board with us. So with this, I would like to to thank you all once more uh, for having us tonight. Again, it was meant to be just a simple conversation and, and a presentation for for you. If you have any extra questions, you can feel free to use the QR code just on top here. Um, that that will give you directly the email from Theans and from Dynamox. You can ask any questions that you have, and if you're interested in understanding a bit more, we're happy to touch base with you and present with more details. All right. I would like to thank you all once more. Thiens, thanks for the for your moderation today and thanks for always for the support. Um, yes, Marcelo, um, I can say with an open heart that uh, the Dynamox team, I've never experienced service like uh, the Dynamox guys uh, from a supplier and a manufacturer. So I'm, I'm very grateful to be part of this this venture okay but thank you for your time and uh, enjoy your weekend thanks thanks everyone thanks the end have everyone have a nice weekend see you soon bye